Here we have another uh, capsicum chinense, this one again grown by my friend Jim O'Connor up in Oregon. And Ahi Teapot is a variety that's originated by Ahi Joe, Pennsylvania. And the Ahi Teapot I had last year were orange and red. I got them from Joe last year. Jim has grown them out this year and has found a yellow one, which is very nice looking pod, almost uh, opaque in a way. Let me get the camera to focus. There you go. You can kind of see the insides a little bit. Really cool looking pod. It's a great color. And that's blue you can hear, trying to drink as much water as is in the house. Oh, let's see what this looks like inside. Interesting. I somehow got it to open that way, which is really quite nice. Now it's a very fresh smelling pod, this one. Um, this one smells to me a little bit more Bacatomy than Chinense. And the ones we had last year, uh, at the time, we thought that they might be a cross between a Chinensi and a Bacatum. And this one certainly smells um, more like a Bacatum than it does a Chinensi. So I guess we'll see when, uh, when I eat it what it looks like, but it's very cool inside. It does look somewhat Bacatum-y inside too. But we'll see. Yellow Ahi Teapot. Hi, Nigel Carter back again, um, seeing if we can beat the uh, shouting birds before they drown me out. Um, again, as you've seen in the introduction, what I have here is the Ahi Teapot. But instead of it being red or orange from last year, this Ahi Teapot is obviously yellow. Um, this is one that my friend Jim O'Connor's found in his garden this year, um, growing Ahi Teapot from Ahi Joe. So, a different colour. Um, I did a review of the Ahi Teapot last year, but not the yellow one. So, it's a very fresh uh, citrusy smell. But it does smell a little bacatomy. I wonder if it tastes a bit bacatomy. Let's find out. Cheers. Yellow ahi teapot. It's very sweet. And the initial flavour is definitely bacatum. Very sweet and citrusy. Very like a Banahi lemon drop. <laughs> but it's much hotter than that. And there seems to be an undercurrent of Chinensi. Which is interesting. The texture is very much like a Anahi lemon drop or Ahi, 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 Ahi pineapple. But the, the heat is very different. It's hotter and it's much more aggressive. And it's a, I'd say it's a very lemony, um, bacatomy flavour with that underneath, um, underneath chinensiness, if there is such a word. Some black pepper notes to the flavour as well, actually. Just at the very end. Sometimes I find bacatums, especially the lemon drops, can be a little bit soapy. This is not, not soapy at all. It's just very fresh uh, <clears throat> and quite hot. Again, you know, they were probably talking, it's probably twice as hot as a regular ahi lemon drop, ahi pineapple. But the burn is different, the burn's much more prickly. Um, the burn's all front of the tongue. Um, yeah, front of the tongue to the middle of the tongue. 
and it's sort of dancing around on my tongue and really prickling away but there's a definite warmth to it as well which I think is a mix of the a little bit of chinense heat and a little bit of bacatum heat that's interesting yeah in, you can taste the two definitely can those are really good really nice and sweet citrusy up front and then leading to a deeper flavor that's dilute bacatum so it's not quite as <clears throat> in your face as full on the carton. One day I'll come up with a comparison where I can describe what a bicarton tastes like, but for now I just have to say it tastes like a bicarton. <laughs> Pretty worthless there. Eh? Those are excellent, really excellent. <clears throat> I have one left, I think I'm gonna save that, save the seeds and grow that because those are really, really good. Mmm, very nice. So, this is the last one, the Ahi Teapot, yellow. Does make you wonder if the original Ahi Teapot crossed with a, an Ahi Lemon Drop or an Ahi Pineapple, but I guess we'll never know. So, that was an excellent one, really enjoyed that one. Um, this is Nigel Carter, starting to sweat a bit, saying thanks very much for watching and thanks for putting up with all the bird noise, and I'll be back again with more of you soon. Thanks very much.